This is our chance. Our chance to fulfill our destiny and make possible what not even our grandfathers managed. A united Britannia under Roman rule is a dream worth fighting for. And if we work hard enough, we will realize our dream. The senator's decision was clear. Pigland must fall. For too long have we suffered under their invasions. And in the end, it was the proposal of the well-known senator Arishok which convinced the most senators. Now it's war. Yo guys, look, we're playing Crusader Kings 3. Yeah. That's it. Cringe. The world was shifting. All great powers were gone after the collapse of the Roman and the Hunnic Empire and a power vacuum occurred. Now, many years later, Roman Italy saw its chance to strike back and not much was missing to recreate the Western Roman Empire. Moreover, Italy had become strong over the last few years. Frighteningly strong. While Italy aimed to recreate the Western Roman Empire, the Romans in Britannia were about to conquer the Pictish tribes once and for all. The Roman armies conquered one city after another. Pictland was too weak to offer any resistance. And so it was not long until it was conquered. For the first time in Roman history, all of Britannia was under Roman rule. With the newly conquered territories, I was now even powerful enough to form the Britannic Empire. But I decided against it for the time being. Now it was necessary to slowly convert the Pictish culture and religion to ours. In the following years, I replaced the Pictish governors with new ones who shared our faith, but still had the Pictish culture to make it easier for them to rule. The slow changes were intended to prevent uprisings in the new territories. At first, the plan worked and everything was peaceful. But with the sudden death of Martinus and the coming to power of the nine-year-old Aurelian, things became unstable in the north. Peasant uprisings and independent wars were not long in coming. Many battles and sieges followed. But in the end, Rome triumphed. Finally, peace returned to the empire. Aurelian removed the rebellious vassals and replaced them with Roman vassals who were now to enforce Roman faith and culture without mercy. Of course the barbarians had also noticed that the child was now in power, but the Roman army was now so strong that the first invaders were completely routed in the first battle, which deterred the other tribes from attacking themselves. And so things remained quiet for the next few years. And Aurelian had his first promising son. The inheritance was secured. And so I now continued to look after the economy as usual. Rarely hostile Germanic tribes came, but these were eliminated without problems. In order to keep it that way, the army was enlarged again and again. And so time passed. Rome was still the most powerful city. So much for the crisis. <laughs> I mean, they're doing really well. Look at that. They're fine. <laughs> Crisis. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> In the meantime, Egypt was about to become the next superpower. Their empire stretched from Egypt to Carthage and up to Gaul. In Britannia, there were minor uprisings, which had not happened for a long time. But these were no major problems. Next up, with further conquests in Ireland, which were successfully completed. Shortly afterwards came a desperate counterattack by Irish tribes, but the situation was clearly decided by one battle, as so often. And I directly counterattacked again. And after the next battle, 
almost all of Ireland was under Roman control. Which I quickly changed, of course. And so, in the year 644, all of Britannia was under Roman rule. Thus, a long-term goal had finally been fulfilled. Britannia now ruled over all the island in the north. And now, of course, many eyes turned towards the mainland of Europe. But first, I had to secure the new territories and see how things would develop. Over the next few months, Ireland rapidly had smaller uprisings, but beyond that, England was stable. To celebrate the success of this conquest, Aurelian organized gladiator fights in Londinium, and also Hellenism had spread very well. Britannia was shining like never before. In the east, however, the Muslim invasion had begun, and Constantinople had already fallen. Aurelian decided to make the first minor push into Europe, as he held a claim on Brittany. Finally, I changed the family motto to Vinciere Bella, <laughs> which means to win the wars. The world is changing and the future is uncertain. So what do you say, senators? And finally, a huge thanks for the 1000 subscribers. That's just insane. I love you guys. Thank you very much.